Hi, this is Tim with Fit Small Business. Welcome to our QuickBooks Online tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create an invoice with QuickBooks Online. You can find all 46 of our free QuickBooks Online tutorials by googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online tutorials. So let's get started. There are two ways you can create an invoice with QuickBooks Online. You can create the invoice from scratch or you can convert a previous estimate into an invoice. So let's talk about first creating the invoice from the estimate. So to view our estimates outstanding we can go to sales and customers and as long as we have the estimates box highlighted in this menu bar it'll show us our estimates outstanding. So we have two. We have an estimate to Brian Tublin and to Godwin Lighting. So let's create an invoice to Brian Tublin. There are a couple of ways we can do this. One way would be from this screen we can click Start Invoice. This is going to create an invoice to Brian Tublin along with all of the estimates outstanding to Brian Tublin. So here's the estimate we're looking for. We can click Add. We can add a part of the estimate or we can add the total estimate. Here let's add the total estimate of $450. And there we go. Our invoice is done. That's how simple it is. So notice there are a lot of fields here you can fill out. They're mostly self-explanatory. Um, which fields appear in your invoice is going to depend on how you set up your sales options. So once we're done talking about the basics of creating an invoice, I'll give you some guidance on uh, where to look for more information on setting up your sales form. So if not all of these options appear in your window, uh, it's because of the way you have your sales options set up. Once we have this invoice created, we can print or preview it. This is what our invoice looks like for Paul's Plumbing. We've already customized it in a prior lesson. If we're going to put it in the mail, we can just print it from here. Another way to send it is through email. So you have to make sure your customer has an email address set up. Brian does, and so we could click over here and click save and send that will send his email send his invoice to him via an email okay so that's one way to create an invoice from an estimate let's go ahead and close that without saving it okay um, good so let's go into the Godwin lighting depot here's another way to create an invoice um, from an estimate so we can actually just go into the estimate Here's their estimate for $48. We can go into their estimate. And from within an estimate, we can click Create Invoice. Um, create it for all $48. And there we go. It's been converted to an invoice. Click Save, and we're done. OK, so that's how you create an invoice from an estimate. Pretty simple. So how do we create an invoice from scratch? Well, we can go to New, Customers, under Customers, click Invoice. Here we can select a customer. Let's select Brian again. So as long as Brian is set up properly as a customer, all of his information will flow through to this form. Um, Again, this is all the same information that we had to provide on an estimate. So creating an estimate and an invoice are very, very similar. Down here, you'll put your service date. So we'll say we did it yesterday. Choose a product or service. Very important that you have your product and services list complete so that all of this information flows through. Uh, we'll say we provided, say, 10 of them. And so we're going to invoice him $420. OK, so very similar to how you originally did the estimate, um, but many times we don't do an estimate first. We've provided the service or the good, and now we're just doing an invoice directly. So again, we can print it um, or we can click save and send to send them an email. So that's how simple it is to create an invoice in QuickBooks Online. If you've been following through with our 46 free tutorials and you're doing them in order, your books should be set up well enough that this is very easy to do. If you 
have found this video without going through our other tutorials, let me give you just a little bit of guidance on how to get your QuickBooks set up properly so that creating invoices is this easy. Okay, so in order to do invoices, the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that you have your cell settings properly. So we can go to our QuickBooks tutorial homepage by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials. You should be able to find our tutorial homepage. So the address here is just fitsmallbusiness.com free QuickBooks Online Tutorials. Okay, to the left is a menu with all of our tutorials. So the first thing you need to do before you issue invoices is to set your sales options. And so that's our very second, uh, our second and third lesson is how to customize and how to set up your options. So I'm not going to go through the lesson, but in general, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your cogwheel, account and settings, sales and here's your sales form content this is where you're going to select sorry sales this is your sales form content this is where you're going to select which of these fields you want to appear on both your invoices and your estimates the customize look and feel button this is where you're going to customize the way the invoice looks so you can go to new style invoice it's going to pull up your template and from here you can adjust it, um, make it different colors, add a different logo, whatever you would like to do. Okay, and so that's the essentials of how you're going to create, how you're going to set up your sales options and your customize your sales invoice. Again, you're going to find those explicit directions in our second and third tutorials, how to customize invoices and then how to set up invoices. Okay, good. Next thing you need to do in order to be able to create invoices very quickly is to set up your products and services, which is your fourth tutorial. Okay, so very quickly, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your cogwheel, your products and services under lists, and this will show all of your products and services. To add new products and services, you simply click the green button or you can click the drop down arrow and import all products and services at one time through a spreadsheet. It's very important you have a product and service set up for everything you're providing to your customers uh, because again, it makes issuing your invoices and your estimates extremely easy. You select the service, all the information carries forward. It is exceptionally important if the item is inventory because you, if you set up the product as an inventory product, it'll actually track your quantity on hand, the quantity sold, the cost of the quantity of the of the quantity on hand, and the cost of the quantity sold. So it uses uh, last in, first out um, costing method. So it'll actually track the cost of your inventory. But to do that, you have to have the product set up as an inventory type. Okay, so all the details for that is in our tutorial on how to set up products and services. Great. And the last thing you need to do in order to be able to issue invoices is you need to set up your customers. So that is down here towards the end of our setting up QuickBooks, how to set up your customers. Essentially, all you're going to do is go to sales and then customers and Right now we're only looking at customers with an estimate so if we click on that again that'll shut that off and now we're looking at all of our customers if we want to add new customers all we have to do is click new customer that'll bring up a screen that we can fill out with all of the information we can actually import them all at one time from a spreadsheet by going to import customers again all of that information is given to you in detail in our how to set up customers tutorial so great thank you very much once you get quickbooks set up Creating invoices is very, very easy. Um, I hope this tutorial helps and I hope you have a great day.